Hi everyone and welcome back to Starfield. Right here, I'm at a mining outpost that I built and it's mining this resource here, benzene. And the reason why I built this outpost was because of this mission. And if you have missions like this, you know, you're going to be wanting to know how to transport this cargo over to the destination like I, like I did, had to do. Okay, you see, I, and I completed both of these, okay? Now, what I'm going to show you is how to establish the cargo link and then get that cargo link operational. Mostly, what I'm going to talk about is how you store that helium. Where do you supply that helium on the inter-system cargo link to get it to operate because uh, it took me a while to figure that out okay so let me show you here so what you need to do is you build this tank right here okay now what it is is let's go here and i'm gonna go to outpost i'm gonna show you this tank it's under storage okay gas you need this right here okay you store this tank you can't just try to put the helium in here or whatever, it won't work. So you store this tank and then you can do it manually or you can do it from a link from another system. But what you do is you could just transfer, put it in your inventory or in your ship if you have a transfer container here and just transfer this from your inventory to this store, gas storage tank. Okay, and then when you link, I'm using an Xbox controller. I'm on a PC, but I've, been, I've just been playing a game with an Xbox controller. And anyway, so you press the A button, you hold the A button down, or if you want to, you know, just using your keyboard and mouse, I'm not sure what key, but anyway, you, you collect, you select output link, and when you select this, you select this tank right here. So it's going to go from, from here, from this storage tank of helium, to here. And that's going to operate this right here, this whole uh, transfer operation. Okay, so you can come here and activate it, and you'll see I got outgoing resources right here. Now, I'm done with this, so I, I no longer have a link here. I mean, it, I'm not going to link it now because I'm done with the mission. Okay, so anyway, you know, when you link it here, it'll start working, it'll start transporting those resources. Now watch this here. Now you can see operating costs. I have 15 out of 5. Only 5 is needed to operate. So what that means is whenever your cargo ship lands, it'll load cargo and it'll take off and it'll use 5 every time. So that's about 3 trips right there. So say like I'm say if I'm trying to um transport 500 um of chlorine or something. Okay, or, or in this case, benzene, 500, okay? That that means what you should do, if you don't want to use so much helium, you know, you're going to come here, watch, let me show you here. This is where it's stored at. I have my benzene extractors linked to this container. And this stuff is waiting for a cargo ship to pick up, you see? Now, when you go here, let me go here, let me show you. Let's see if I can get it where it shows cargo ship here. But anyway, no, I can't because I don't I don't have a link. But when you have a link at the bottom left under outgoing resources, it'll say cargo ship. It'll say zero out of five hundred. So I guess it can carry five hundred at, at a time. So I don't activate this any of this. I just set the links up. I don't activate it until I get five hundred in here. Because when you do it that way, what happens is it'll only use five helium at a time so you don't want the the cargo ship to come down pick up you know 10 or 20 of the resource you want to transport and leave and just keep on doing that you want it to wait you want it to go leave you want it to have a full load and then to leave leave and deliver what it needs to you know so um that's what you want it to do now once you have your links set up here from your gas storage container to this um, 
liquid fueling container, whatever, this is what it uses to fuel it, the helium to this facility. So anyway, when you have it set up, you press activate and it'll activate, it'll send the cargo ship down and it'll start transporting your resources. Okay? So yeah, so basically that's how it's done. The main thing you need to remember is you just have to have that helium coming into one of these gas storage containers and then have it linked here. And then after you do that, just walk up on up here and and press activate on this. And you'll see the helium, once it's supplied properly, you'll see it on this uh, screen right here. You know, you'll see it here where you got to hold it to do the quick menu. And you see, you'll see you have helium there available, so there's nothing that's going to stop it. And if you look down there, it even says, allows links between systems required for supply missions and says requires HE3, which is the helium, okay? So, all right, uh, so I'll wrap this up and I hope you all found this helpful because I know it took me a few minutes to figure this out, you know, and, and, but I was like, well, great, <laughs> you know, I figured it out finally. So yeah, that's what you're going to want to do. And, um, so if you found the video helpful, just please give me a like and comment and subscribe if there's anything else that you know I missed and didn't mention that that you know just share it with us you know okay so thanks for watching and until next time bye for now